Plan Vivo recently held a capacity building event in London to discuss the opportunities and challenges of insetting with project developers, researchers and businesses. Uh, thank you everybody for coming in here today to our big insetting event, insetting within your value chain, um, organized by the Plan Vivo Foundation. Insetting creates long-term positive change by compensating for the social and environmental impact of a business within its own supply chain. While carbon offsetting allows companies to manage their carbon footprint, insetting is a way to do this with additional benefits for the business. Businesses partner with communities that fall within their sphere of influence or that they purchase commodities from. And then together, they develop new projects that reduce carbon emissions. These projects not only benefit the local ecosystems and the community, but they also increase supply chain stability for the business. So we heard time and again in our conversations with Green Mountain, with Jerry's, with others, that they're, they're already investing, they want to invest back in their supply chain as part of their overall uh, concern about the sustainability of supply over time. Business is rapidly waking up to the need for action on climate change and deforestation. But for many, action and expenditure is still not directly linked to the core operations of the business. Insetting has the potential to fast-track action as it provides multiple benefits to businesses as well as to the environment and to local communities. For example, Nespresso are working with Pure Proje on ambitious tree planting programs with coffee farmers in Colombia and Guatemala. So we started with Nespresso last year with two pilot projects, one in Colombia and one in Guatemala. So the program uh, uh, objective is to plant 10 million trees within 2020 to fully inset the uh, footprint of Nespresso. By working within their own supply chains, businesses can gain insight into their operations. They can strengthen relationships with local suppliers, improve the stability of the local ecosystems and ensure long-term quality. By explaining them that I'm not just there with them for three years, but for a long time. This makes the people happy because they feel like they've got support, and support that is trying to understand very well how they live. The first step within setting is to establish the carbon footprint, as well as looking at other social and environmental impacts of a business. Organizations then map out the relationships that they have within their own business ecosystem. What they're looking for is opportunities to create new projects with people that they already work with. The growing network can provide know-how and shared experience to make this easier. These are long-term projects often developed and implemented over many years. The business provides finance for the project and for the work done by local communities. Projects can be certified by voluntary carbon standards like Plan Vivo. For example, Green Mountain Coffee Roasters recently teamed up with Catholic Relief Services to develop a coffee insetting project in Nicaragua under the Plan Vivo standard. The coffee industry is a focus for early insetting projects. Source Climate Change Coffee have already seen the benefits from working with farmers in Mexico and insetting is core to their conservation-led brand. Communities who supply businesses also share in the success of insetting. Plan Vivo have produced the first guidance manual for businesses who are looking at insetting. This was launched at the recent networking event in London. An international platform for insetting is currently being developed to speed the integration of the idea into business and get really clear on best practice as more and more organisations align with the communities and ecosystems that underpin their success.